Hey guys, it's me, Raging Ninja here, back from the White Door Forums to show you how to back up and restore your push notification certificates once you restore your iDevice. Now, if you're not aware, your push notifications are something that your push-enabled apps send you. For example, if you get a Facebook notification and your Facebook is ena has enabled push notifications, it'll pop up a little um, notification that'll tell you what, what notification it was. Um, for example, if someone added, wanted to add you as a friend on Facebook, just an example. If you don't know, White Door Firmer, by default, has broken push notifications. Now, each and every iDevice out there that has working push notifications has their own unique set of push certificates. What a push certificate looks like is this. It's just a certificate here that's all encrypted and coded that send, gets sent to the, I, to the Apple servers that let it know that your iPhone is a valid iDevice. No biggie deal, right? Except the problem is, is when you add Push Doctor or Push Fix, they don't always have enough certificates to go around because people don't know how to back them up and reuse them, which is really a waste, you know. If people, if everybody who had Push notifications backed up their Push certificates and then re and then restored them after they restored their iDevice, then you know, we wouldn't have all these uh, push certificate generating problems. First, what you're going to want to do if you do not have push certificates already of your own is add the nerve repository, links in the description, and install Push Doctor. This will add um, your push certificates and fix your YouTube and your push notification problems if you have them. But if you're on White Door, you don't need the YouTube certificates, but it doesn't hurt to add them. Right now, as of July 30th, 2011, the push or the nerve repo has approximately 8,000 certificates available, so get them while you can. So after you install Push Doctor, if you don't have working push notifications, you're going to need to install Nimble, also from the nerve repository, and then go up and install Inject, also from the nerve repository. So I'm, let me exit out of Cydia here. What Nimble does is it extracts your push certificates into um, a directory in your file system so you can back them up. So it's going to be located in private var keychains. Private var keychains is what it is. So you can see here there are four certificates here. And if I go back to mobile terminal, we're going to log in as root su. Alpine as the default password. Then you want to navigate to the private var keychains directory. So to do that, you press cd space forward slash private forward slash var forward slash capital key k. I mean keychains. So capital K lowercase e y c h a n s excuse me don't misspell it like i did hit enter or return in this case then you're currently in the private var keychains directory then to extract it you just hit period forward slash nimble it'll run a script to extract your push notification certificates then you again now you get to private var keychains in ssh whatever client you want to use and um, extract these four certificates here back them up I would suggest backing them up online and on a physical flash thumb drive or something you need to back it up in several locations and remember never to give your own unique push certificates to anybody else or else your friend that wants to add you on Facebook that push notification will be sent to the wrong person now to put them back in for example, you just go back into private var keychains and restoring them usually is when you need to restore your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. And when you restore, you lose those push certificates unless you don't need them. Um, put the push notification, the broken push notifications is really only happens to hacktivators, which would be people that need an unlock for their iDevice. So, yeah here you just put the four certificates here back in the private var keychains directory
and then you go back into mobile terminal after you install mobile terminal and install inject from the nerve repository and then you navigate again to the private var keychains directory and then go period forward slash inject and this will inject the certificates into your file system giving you working push notifications that's all there is to it if you have any questions please watch the video again and just to confirm that you have working push notifications, go ahead and add the app called iPusher from the App Store. It's free. Then you just test your push notifications. And indeed, I have working push notifications. As you can see here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, like us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, follow us on Twitter, that is. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.